your viewers, hunters and conservationists involved in Ducks Unlimited and so forth, we are the people who see environmental changes. It is our responsibility to do something about it or stand up and stand beside someone who is. Now, I would like to pass this football off to Obama, President Obama, if you will. But we have a dial tone. We can't get a communication or a response. I'd love for him to say, you know what, Americans, Carl is a nut. And this little capsule he's talking about, foolishness. Uh, I'd like for him to tell me what we've been doing with capitals like this in our space uh, uh, in our space uh, 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 race up there in all of our spacecraft and space stations, they know what that is. It heats all of their uh, facilities up there today. Every spacecraft, it heats today. Oh, okay. So, so, uh, so, so, so people Carl, that go to the moon or Mars. Carl, what, you, what, you're, tell, what you're telling, what you're telling, right. Carl, what you're telling me is that the technology that you're holding in your hand is already proven and out there. Is that what you're telling me? Been using it for 40 years. Been using it for 40 years. Now, that app, that little cylinder that you have there, uh, do I need a special uh, appliance uh, for me to use it in my home? Uh, how, does, how, how would that take place? Yeah, yes you would actually. Uh, we could, we could uh, make something uh, uh, adaptive for that. I've made some proposals to uh, Governor Schwarzenegger there. We're talking about the manufacturer of those appliances uh, in the state of California actually right now. But to answer your question, uh, yes, today you would need an adapter if you wanted to put, uh, say you had a hot plate, right? And rather than plug it in the wall, uh, you put the uh, heating element in it and that's all. Uh, that, that's absolutely amazing. I, I mean, this is already proven technology. We're using it in, in the space now, and we all know from over the past years, many, many products ha as a byproduct of space exploration have come to us as citizens of this country. It is certainly one of the byproducts and one of the reasons why we stand behind that space exploration. Now, why this hasn't, I... I you know, it's got to be coming, Carl. I mean, as far as I know, you're the only guy out there uh, driving this. And in fact, did you not tell me, and, and, I, and I have a copy of it because I know it's true, you sent a letter to President Obama. If they look at the website, they roll down below this screen, they will see the letter you sent to President Obama. And to this day, have you gotten an answer? No, I have actually sent several letters to uh, uh, President Obama. Actually, he knows about this project. Um, I'm sure that uh, Hillary Clinton has uh, told him about the project. Uh, there's no mystery that I have been carrying on some discussions and have an interest to deal with our friends, the Arabs, uh, uh, you know, primarily the visionary in Dubai, the Sheikh Mohammed uh, Maktoum. Uh, uh, to help me uh, in, uh, in other parts of the world where he has a valid interest, they have a valid interest in, in uh, world health. So he knows about this. I presented it again to Dr. Chu, the Secretary of Energy, without reply. I sent him another uh, long, rather long and detailed uh, uh, information uh, sheet, which he did not reply to. So I've communicated with President Obama on one sided, okay? at least three times on this subject without replying. It, it, well, I mean, I, I don't understand it, Carl. Uh, I mean, I, I appreciate you coming on the show and telling the viewers uh, about this. I, I know it's the second conversation we've had on this subject. I think this is the first time you've actually shown us what it is that we need in, in a physical sense. And it, it I, you know, I, for the life of me, I, I just don't understand why we're not moving forward on this. I know you've contacted the governor of California. I know that you've contacted, as you said, um, the uh, president of the United States and, and the people in those offices. They're not listening. And, and, and for the life of me, I don't know why they're not listening to you, Carl. I, 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 honest to God, I don't. If anyone out there uh, who's listening to the show can tell me in some rational form, in something that I can repeat, 
then, then I would be happy to know that. I, I'm not sure that Carl even understands why he hasn't been responded to. Out of politeness, if nothing else. Well, I understand. Let's understand this. People talk to each other, determine whether you have a solution that's valid or not, okay? And you say so. When you don't, it means that you have an agenda. Now, I am speaking for the people of the United States. They require an answer. We're not talking about agendas and oil and gas and things. I address those solutions. I have the answers to those. Let's talk about those. But I have communicated to, say, uh, the president of Exxon, asked him to join me, that's uh, Mr. Tellerson. Uh, the president of the UAW, he knows about this project. Clay Ford, uh, as you know from Ford uh, Motor Company. Uh, Cerberus, who owns uh, own Chrysler. Well, before we had these issues, but no one wants to talk because they're afraid of this issue. There are agendas at stake, okay? And so, uh, if there isn't an agenda at stake, and Carl is a madman, then I think somebody needs to pick up the telephone and call NASA and have them explain to you uh, what we did in 1967 and eight and every, every year since. Uh, in our spacecraft. True, uh, they don't make one di uh, identical to mine. Uh, in this particular case, uh, there's a patent pending on the little product uh, that uh, uh, keeps uh, that energy contained in a small container like that. But basically, the idea, okay, is there, and how we use uh, the various things are there. Okay, uh, Carl. And there's no secret to it. I mean, this is Simple technology, Americans own it. I propose to disseminate it, to manufacture it for this planet. Okay, all right, Carl, let me ask you a quick question because we are running out of time. Uh, uh, you said in that container there is atomic waste. Now, I know a lot of people cringed when you said that. It scared them a little bit. Tell me, atomic waste, is it dangerous? No, atomic waste is not. Let me explain. Atomic waste is uh, natural to the Earth. In fact, uh, the oldest substance known in the uh, universe is uh, thorium. We have it in our bodies, okay? Um, uh, so atomic waste is only, only dangerous when people try to change it, and that's what is called nuclear. Right. When okay. you right. Uh, concentrate right. things and make it chain reactive, it's nuclear property. Right. It's an abnormal composition. We're okay. talking about putting... Uh, harmless material within a container and being able to use it like the universe intended for us to use it, just like we use the sun, right? And it's very simple to do, and it puts everyone to work, makes us an export nation, ends our economic problem tonight. You give me one hour with President Obama, I will fix this problem. <laughs> Carl, you, I'm a believer. I, I, I'm a believer. You, you absolutely have me convinced. I happen to know, because as a young fellow, I actually flipped burgers for a while, that meat cooks at 109 degrees. And you're holding a container there that's 500 degrees. So, uh, and it's in your hand. There's no reason why we all shouldn't have one. Certainly, I know a lot of guys in Texas want one for their barbecue. But there's no... Oh, <laughs> yeah. Carl, we need to do more on this. Will you come back and, and keep us posted on the progress of Carl Inc., please? Sure, I'd be happy to, James. Okay, we're going to show a picture of the last man on earth before we go. And w there he is right there. His name is Logan James Long, and that is the last man on earth, if we don't do something about it. Thank you very much.